Hi guys, this is the Bold and the Beautiful Review. Hello. Okay, so before we get into that, we need to talk about some um, gossip news about BMB. Uh, apparently, I don't know his name, Windsor, but the one that plays on um, Thorn Forrester, he posted, well, he tweeted that um, goodbye BNB and it was a nice run and yada yada. So he's not coming back. But I have to admit that at first I thought I thought that the the show was canceled, that it was confirmed that the show was canceled because I did make a video talking about that. I just had not uh, published it yet. And maybe I will uh, during this week or if not, because I'm not sure if I'm going to like the way it looks, I might just write a post about it. So watch out. Okay, go on soirealonrose.com, like me on Facebook if you don't want to miss it. <laughs> but anyways, um, so he's not coming back and I, I, I think it's kind of weird that he posted, well he tweeted his goodbye message to the fans because we don't think of Thorne like that, okay? We're, we're like, we're going to see him someday. We might not see him this year, but maybe next year or maybe. Like, we see him like maybe once or twice a year, okay? Uh, and sometimes he skips a year. So I'm just, like, this, he's not on our minds. And the fact that he took the time to say goodbye, that means like he had some talk with some people at B&B and, and he was like, you know, I'm not coming back. This is done, done so, goodbye. And I'm just wondering, how, I mean, is it about the money? Like, is, is, I mean, th there's something going on, okay? Because even, like, I, I I talked about the, well, that's done the video that you did not see because I did not publish, but I was talking about how um, it's weird that the panel, we didn't have the real Ridge and we didn't have the Caroline number two and there's some people missing and it, it, it's, it's kind of weird. Um, and Ivy, especially Ivy, we she doesn't have a storyline. They, they just got her on the show just to make us shut up. But right now, she's not doing anything. We barely see her. She doesn't have a storyline. She's not there. But nobody's complaining about that because we're like, we have this feeling that she's on the show. But we don't see her. So <laughs> what's the point? And even when we see her, she got a line or two. <laughs> what's the point? Okay? She's sitting down with what? What for? She's not having a, a, a real conversation with him. She's she's just talking about Quinn and it's like she's nobody. Okay, she's not a real forester. She's like as soon as Eric goes away, what's her ties to the family? Cause they they don't talk about her. They don't seem to know her or recognize her. And she's like, she's no one. So I don't know. So there's something going on obviously, and um, I want to know the tea, honey. <laughs> So, um, anyways, let's get into this episode because I'm already talking too much. <laughs> this is me. Okay, so this episode, it was really good. Okay, we have, um, where do we start? Okay, let's start with Quinn because I love me some Quinn and Quinn, she crack crack and she good. Ooh, yes. So, um, Quinn is jealous, okay, because she was slaying at the fashion show, okay, she made it happen, she's feeling good about herself, she went back to her husband, she's like, hey baby, did you see me? Yes, you did, hello, I'm so happy. And then, um, when Eric goes upstairs, she sees, like, there's two glasses and one of them has some red lips, okay, red lipstick on it, and she's like, uh-uh, there was a woman. So, she went upstairs Eric had everything prepared for a good night of boom, 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 boom. I'm going to make your back crack. Yes. I'm just like, dude, if you can have sex with your wife, I'm pretty sure you can go back to work. Okay? Yeah. Okay? Go get on your chair. Sit on it and be the CEO. Okay? Like, I, I, that I did not understand. Okay? You got time to hit, to hit it, but you can't go work. You go, you can't make decisions. You have to sit at home and chill. Y you got enough energy to go walk outside and, and, and get involved with Katie and her house and her, all of her situations. Like, what's going on, boo? What? Anyway, so he's getting ready to hit that thing. And Quinn is just like, wait a minute, stop. <laughs> so, um, there was two glasses. Well, 
on the table so I would like an explanation and Eric was just like oh that was Katie Katie came and I helped her with them um, with the school thing okay and then she came back to thank me because her son is now enrolled in some school you know I'm Eric Farster so I make shit happen but seriously she didn't need my help and anyway, she came back and um she offered me a bottle of champagne. I did not drink some champagne, okay? Because I know I'm safe. Uh, but, yeah, and then we sat down and we watched you. And she she, she she feels like you're good and you're great and you're amazing. And, you know, and the queen was just like, I ain't for it. <laughs> I ain't happy about that, okay? <laughs> but whatever. And you can feel like queen is jealous. She's becoming green and you like, girl, fix that skin. <laughs> Lord. Um, and those eyes, <laughs> please. So then afterwards, she went downstairs. I don't remember why. But then she went downstairs and she decided to go um, call Katie, who was at the time in the office, chilling with uh, Rick and talking about she needs a house. And by the way, like, you, you she's depending on Eric. And anyways, one thing at a time. So she calls, Quinn calls Katie. And Katie's just like, hello, who, who that? <laughs> and Quinn is just like, uh, hello, Katie. I am, um, it's, um, Quinn Forrester. Okay. Quinn Forrester. Uh, I know that you've been at my house and, um, you know, you've been chilling at my house when I'm going and I don't think it's appropriate. So Katie's just like, wait, hold on. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> wait. Katie was just like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to check that bitch real quick. What? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Eric and I, we are friends. And Queen is just like, yeah, yeah, I understand that, okay? Um, but I was not at the house, and you knew that I was not at the house. That's why you came, bitch. And I would like for you to not come unannounced anymore. And Katie is just like, you don't need to feel insecure. I was like, bitch, you don't say that to no woman, okay? You don't need to be jealous or insecure. Those are two words. No, we don't want to hear that shit, okay? You need to change your approach Katie I was like no that's not the right words and you don't want to have Quinn as your enemy boo boo don't you remember that you do have a kid <laughs> lord so Quinn is just like no I'm not insecure okay I'm not insecure but you need to stop you need to stop going to my house okay because I am Queen Forrester all right we and then Katie was like I apologize if you know whatever I apologize <laughs> Quinn is just like that's good don't come back <laughs> and then Quinn throw, threw away the phone and said bitch I was like see the old Quinn coming back she wants to come back I knew it I knew it she wants to come back and then she did something really a little bit funny to me she looked at her own portrait okay she was looking at herself and you know what she's getting used to that life and she's like I got the love I got the money I got the power I don't want to lose all of that shit okay uh, look at myself. I'm on top, okay? <laughs> I'm on some Stephanie shit. I'm the new Stephanie Forrester out here. No, um, I'm not letting, uh, not Quinn, Katie take this away from me, okay? I need, to, I, I, I'm happy I checked that bitch and she better not come back, okay? Then next day, Katie got to visit the house and she's in love with the house. She loves the house. Like, she's so desperate to get the house, okay? She's ready to make an offer, okay? She's just like, you know what? Uh, there's the view and I love the view and this is so close to um what's the name baby Will's um he's not a baby no more but it's so close to Will's school and oh my god this was the best thing ever and then we have Eric showing up and saying you know what Katie you need to get the house it's a good house and and um Katie was just like yeah, I love it and there's not too much space and I was like that's exactly my problem how is how is that house close close to the neighborhood Okay, in the neighborhood, the same neighborhood, the same, in the same neighborhood of Forrester, of the Forrester mansion. Because I don't understand. It's too small compared to Eric's house. Like, if you're going to that kind of neighborhood, you kind of want the big-ish, okay? Because you don't want your house to look like that little poor, that house of the poor, okay? Because compared to the to Eric's house, okay, I'm just saying. Because it's always weird when we have, like, big houses and one small one. It's like, you know, no anyway so she's want she wants this apparently okay and um Quinn was at the house I think what happened was um 
Eric came back to the house and he was calling Quinn, Quinn's name and then when he got upstairs he was like oh girl I thought you were at work and I was like but why were you calling her name if you thought she was at work okay you've been calling Quinn 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 the entire time you opened the door you were like Quinn and then you're saying that you thought she was at work I don't know I got confused for a minute and then she's like I got a surprise for you she opens the robe and she had this regular I think like, to me it was nothing sexy I was just like you guys are newlyweds <laughs> come on if you thought that was sexy because I remember when Quinn used to put on some lingerie okay she was beating Eric okay they were on some BDN SM okay SNM whatever I was like <laughs> okay that was hot that thing that you were you were wearing Quinn no okay that was not it but anyways Eric liked it of course see there hitting it <laughs> Harry got to hit it hit it hit it hit it yeah <laughs> and then he drops the bomb he's like oh Katie uh, was um is gonna buy the house next door so Quinn is just like what the hell I do have an issue with that okay because like she's close to the rest of your family and the rest of your family don't like me so I don't understand I don't like this one bit mm -mm. Uh -uh. don't like this okay um so then we got um her going downstairs again looking for champagne and then she see a text from Katie saying I'm I'm the, at the house next door I'm gonna buy it so <laughs> uh Quinn was like no I need to check that bitch again so she went to the house and she was like bitch Katie you need to stop I'm not here for it and Katie was just like you need to stop being insecure okay you're sabotaging yourself you need to stop that and Quinn could have like wait went like okay yeah she's right okay she's she's giving me good advice right now because this is the old Quinn this is the old me trying to protect my stuff okay doing everything to keep protect my things and that's not the right way this is the old Quinn and I'm the new Quinn and I'm trying to be Mrs. Eric Forrester out here I'm not trying to mess shit up so you know what Katie if you want to stay stay I was like um, I understand I understand what what Quinn what how Quinn is feeling and I feel like she's right to worry about um Katie okay Katie Logan she's a Logan first of all so you gotta worry about her segundo okay <laughs> um Katie is not the kind of woman who's gonna be she's not like Steffi Steffi's just like I want your man that's it I want him Katie is just like no I would never okay I understand that he's in a relationship he's married I wouldn't do that but all of a sudden she's falling for the guy but she didn't never understood or knew that she was falling for the guy but she end, ends up falling for the guy and then things happen you know so I understood Quinn but I just feel like the way she handled the situation was wrong but you don't let her know that you're sweating bullets okay Okay, because first of all, you don't know if she's really trying to get with your man. And Segundo, if she really is trying to get with your man, she's being sneaky about it. So you need to be sneaky too, okay? So when she first realized that Katie was spending time with Eric, the first thing she should have done, okay? But I don't think she should have called, but if she wanted to call really badly, she was itching for it, okay? She should have called and said, Hello, Katie. It's um Quinn Forrester. Yes, I realized that you were uh, at my house today. I'm so freaking thrilled because I know that you love what I did, and I'm I'm like so excited, and I'm glad that there's someone in Eric's life that's giving him positivity. Whatever you tell some crap, you give her crap, okay? And then you say, you know what? I would love to spend time with you. I I think we could really be great friends. And I mean, how? Why don't you come by the house, okay? You keep your friends close, you keep your enemies closer, okay? You need to spend time with that bitch, understand how she works, <laughs> okay? You need to know. <laughs> so I felt like Quinn should have done that instead of being like, you don't come by the house, um, this is inappropriate, and you shouldn't be doing this, and then it, no, you're showing that you're scared, and you don't even know what's going on, so you need to understand. And um, I feel like, Quinn was not wrong okay the whole family is gonna try to use Katie against Quinn okay so I feel like Quinn you shouldn't have backed down you should just keep your eyes open don't overreact but baby keep your eyes open and don't I, I understand how she was feeling because she's like okay I'm used to being the crazy woman that 
like I need to stop that but she was so right the whole family it's not crazy for her to think that Ridge organized the whole thing or Rick is organizing shit okay because that's what they do they plot so you need to like always be on your toes ready to box okay so mm -mm. Quinn you're not stupid you you you're not stupid on that one you're not being great on that one okay just Katie doesn't know that she wants Eric but she's about to know okay because all of a sudden we see her having flashbacks of her talking to Eric and him saying that it's a good house and you need to be in the house and she's always crying to Eric like my life is so horrible I mean Brooke and Bill are together but you know I'm trying to be happy and I'm trying to be like Quinn watch out and then Eric did something stupid too she started he started talking to Steffi because Steffi came by and he was like, oh, I think that Quinn is over um, the is at, at the other house next door. Okay, she's next door talking to to Katie and probably warning her, warning her to stay away from me because, you know, well, she's a little bit jealous. And I was like, why are you giving her information? Your granddaughter is not for you and Quinn, okay? She's been with the rest of the family plotting against your relationship, your couple, your... What? Like, what? What were you thinking, Eric? That was so stupid. I was just looking at this and I'm like, <laughs> Steph is taking mental notes, okay? She thought, mm, I see, I see. She's going to go to her daddy and say, Daddy, I think there's another way. We can get rid of Quinn in another way. We need to let her self-destruct, okay? That's exactly what they need to do because Quinn is just going to, okay? She's going to do it. She's going to do it. It's in her. She has not changed. She wants to change. She wants to be a different person. But if you put her in the right situation, okay, she's going to fail. That's just the reality. Okay. And her always saying, I want to please you, Eric. I want to be worthy of you. That's something else that's going to make her tick, tick, tick. Because you can't just be living your life trying to please somebody else and trying to be worthy. I'm already worthy. Okay, bitch? Like, sorry, you married me. You're lucky. And everybody's saying that she's lucky. So it's like as if she's worth nothing and she ain't shit. And this is not a good, mm -mm. it's not going to work. Okay? She needs to feel like she's somebody too. And everybody's making her feel like she's nothing compared to Eric and she's lucky to have him. And what can he, what can what does he see in her and then she's it's mm, 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 mm. and then there's also the way she speaks and she says things like oh my god you know i don't want to be the old quinn and i'm not gonna be like that I, i've changed because of you that's the wrong thing everything every time i hear that kind of stuff i'm like mm, 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 mm. that's all the way wrong okay she's gonna go back she's gonna revert back to her to her true self okay this is not gonna work and i can't wait for eric to end up with eggs on his face because he deserves it okay and i don't understand how come Steffi was just like we're gonna spend the holidays together because i'm just like no we're not spending the holidays together you're not gonna have any kind of family to spend the holidays with you wanted quinn you got quinn you're gonna stay alone with quinn have a good time okay you're gonna be sitting on that table all alone you need to understand what you're losing because i feel like Eric is not very aware and that's why probably he enjoys Katie that much because he needs somebody to talk to except for his wife. At some point he's gonna get bored to be spending time with her like that. It's so cool when you're newlyweds and it's the beginning you want to spend your time with your loved one okay you're the, yeah, that special person you want to spend all of your time with that person trust me but um 10 years later I don't think so. You're going to need some change. You're going to be like, okay, bitch, I live with you. I do you from, <laughs> okay? I do you all the time. I talk to you. Sometimes I even shower with you. I'm, I I need a break, okay? I need to see other people. That's when they break up, okay? That's when they break up. So, I don't know. I guess um, BNB wants to go, you know, they love their holiday special. Everybody's sitting at the table and saying something positive about, you know, lord anyways um that's them and then we got ridge and brooke ridge is trying to work on brooke because he wants her back he's just like you know what i don't care about the company i don't care about the fashion show i don't care about the success i don't care about quit i just want you baby and i'm just like you had all this time to be with her and you didn't give, give a shit you left her many times you've abandoned that woman okay and then you had Caroline, a younger version of her, sort of. And then 
Also, when she was single, you didn't care about her. You were single, she was single, you didn't give a shit. Now that she's about to get married, all of a sudden you care and you want her with you. And then you're going to bring her to the grave site, <laughs> to your mother's grave site, and talk about your destiny and your life and your the past and your history and everything. And then you're going to offer, offer her a, 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 an engagement ring when she's already engaged. And not a messed up situation. And then we have Bill. <laughs> Ain't that funny? Bill, who's had many conversations with Brooke, saying that, you know what, like, I know you feeling like I left you at the altar, but you need to understand, bitch, okay? I usually, when I when I let, leave people, when I leave a woman, I don't come back to her. I don't try to work on shit, okay? But it, that should tell you that I really care about you because not only I am coming back to you, I'm actually pleading so you can marry me and leave your past behind, okay? Because, boo-boo, I'm Bill Spencer. I don't work on the shit, okay? I get shit done, and then I move the fuck on, okay? So, you taking so much time, which means money, okay? Too much of my energy, boo-boo. Book is just like, all right, but I need you to spend some time with my son. So, guess what, RJ? You're not going to go to school today. You're going to spend time with my new boo. <laughs> Ain't that funny? I was like, that, that's Hollywood, <laughs> okay? Because, I mean, why is he going to miss school so he can spend time with his future, maybe not future, stepdaddy? Ain't that crazy? <sighs> Anyways, RJ was not happy about it, but he did it anyway because his mommy wanted to, okay? Wanted him to. And then he got to the Spencer office and Bill was boxing, looking hot, hot. I was like, yes, you're, old. you're an older man, but you still look good do it and um RJ was like okay so you want me to box I'm like this is a bag should I really do that and Bill was just like yes you need to do this kind of things okay like what happens if there's a guy who tries to steal your lunch okay what happens if there's a guy trying to steal your girlfriend you punch him in the face RJ was just like no you just call the police I was just like <laughs> uh wait a minute like if he steals your girlfriend you call the police I don't think so. If he steals your lunch, you call the police too? You don't go to the the, the principal? No, no, no. You call the police. <laughs> I was like, ain't that funny. Okay? And Bill was just like, no, no, no. You need to punch that bag. So, RJ thinks I had, he has fun, okay? He was like, tack, tack, tack. And I was like, okay, that's good. And then um, Bill was like, you got no rhythm. I was like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't want to say what I thought, but mm, I was like, of course. And then Bill brought him to this special place, okay? His safe room or whatever he called that. And in there, there was guns, um, I guess artwork, I'm not sure. And then there was cash, of course, good old cash, okay? And then he told RJ, like, you know what, I got all the money of the world okay i got money from every country okay this is like chinese dollars this is um euros whatever I, <laughs> money is everything okay smell that shit smell it smell it i was like ain't that crazy and that crazy crazy anyway so um I think they're bonding and it's a good thing but Ridge ain't happy about that he's pursuing Ridge uh, he's pursuing Brooke uh, a lot and trying to make it work and I'm just like dude you need to live her alone and I'm happy that Brooke told him like excuse me you're gonna find a new bitch you're gonna leave me for a new bitch okay and that's how it goes okay you with me and then you drop me okay I don't know if I want you back but then they started talking about Stephanie and um what she wanted she always wanted to please Stephanie she wanted Stephanie to love her and to see her as a daughter and at the end of Stephanie's life that's how he she saw Brooke okay like a daughter and I was like I was not happy with that okay especially when Taylor was on the show Taylor was on the show and w and Stephanie died with Brooke I mean I have nothing against those two making peace and having this beautiful scene but nothing with Taylor that was like mm -mm, I didn't like that one bit nothing Stephanie didn't have a scene with um her granddaughter her namesake she didn't have a scene with her husband she didn't have a scene with her son the her golden child she didn't have a scene 
I don't know, with Taylor, the woman that she loves so much, that she was ready to scheme for Taylor. But anyways, I digress. So we can see that Brooke is just hurting because she's thinking, she's grieving. She's still thinking about Stephanie and, you know, um, the relationship she had with her. And it was an important one, okay? And, um... Ridge was trying to get her to feel some kind of way, you know, little tears and maybe accept the ring that he was giving her. And I was just like, dude, what are you doing? And then when Brooke left, we see Bill coming in, okay, walking down and saying, hello, Ridge. So, what's up? <laughs> and we was like, how the hell did you find me? And brick brick bill told ridge that oh by the way i have a gps on brooke's phone or something i was just like ain't that creepy so ridge told him uh boo boo that is crazy creepy okay like real creep you're a creep like this is creepy like whoa and bill was just like but wait a minute boo boo you at your mother's gravesite trying to seduce a woman i was like yeah you just made a point bill you you do you, you did okay Anyways, um, guys, that was pretty much it, okay? We have this love triangle. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. Um, Bill seems to think that he and Brooke are gonna get married and just, it's gonna happen. Ridge is thinking like, no, no, no. Brooke always comes back to me. She's my Logan. Bill is like, no boo-boo, <laughs> okay? She's my Brooke. <laughs> I was like, damn, those two men fighting over Brooke. And poor Katie is just like, I know my two exes are fighting over my sister. Ain't that some shit? Am I supposed to feel good about myself? Lord. Um. Anyways, guys, that was the review. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Like me on Facebook. And follow me on Twitter. And the website is soireonrose.com. See you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye. Ooh, ow. Eh, eh. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm doing crazy.